Hello everyone, today we want to discover PixFlow Cinetidal Pack and see what's inside it. Once you open the pack, you can see 6 folders are in it. The first one contains the After Effects files. The second one is Mogers for Premiere Pro. Third is the Film Posters for Photoshop. A Grain Effect file as a bonus. Film Festival badges again for Photoshop. And the last folder contains the fonts used in the projects. Alright, let's open up our After Effects file. You can see that there are 29 titles inside it, alongside with a comp for the film badges. Now let's open the first title and import our footage by dragging or pressing Ctrl I. Let's make a comp out of our footage. Now, there are two ways to use these titles. One way is to put the title directly on top of the footage in the comp, in which by holding Alt and dragging, you can try other titles as well. The second way to use the titles is by dragging your footage in the title comp and put it beneath the layers. Then by selecting the setting layer, you can directly change the colors of the text. And change the text by double clicking on the title here. And of course we can always reset the colors in the setting. I'm gonna open another title and put a new video down here. Now let's customize it by changing the text. For repositioning the text, you need to select the text in the comp and drag it where you want. In this title, you can also change the position of the red effect on the text by double-clicking on the mask. I also want to change red to black for this one. Let's see how it is. Alright, let's open another title. This one has a cool effect on it. I'm going to change the text to test the effect on that. Mm-hmm, nice. And you see the badges here, which you can change them or add others from the film badges. To do so, you should select the badge, then right-click and select Reveal Layer Source in Project. Then select the badge you want to change in the timeline and hold Alt and drag the new badge to put it on the previous one. Now let's work with some Mogerts inside Premiere Pro. Again, 29 cinematic titles in the form of Mogerts. Inside Premiere, you can bring up the Essential Graphics panel from Window Selection up here. Then down here in the Essential Graphics, click on this Import icon to add the Mogerts one by one. But as we have a total folder to add, I'm gonna add the whole folder by pressing Option here and choosing Manage Additional Folders. Then, find the Titles folder and select it to import them all to the panel. You can also change the filter here to see only the movie titles moggers in the panel. Now let's create a sequence from down here and import one of the titles to see how it is. Let's get a preview. Good, now let's add a footage to test the title with. 
then set the title in a better position and the timeline for the starting point. And also change the scale and position from the effects controls. Now, under the Essential Graphics panel in the Edit section, you can change the text as well as colors and badges. To change the badges, you should select the option down here and click on Replace from Explorer. Then find and select the badge which is in PNG form. And also scale it to your liking from here. Mm-hmm, scale to fit works here. It could also be done by changing the parameters from here. Let's do another one. And you can change all the badges just like that. Now let's work on some film posters in Photoshop. You can see that there are different layers here. Two overlays for grain and color correction, which you can turn off if it doesn't work on your photo. Then there are logos and badges, a words layer, and the text. Now let's test it by importing an image and scale and position it to fit. Then find the main title from the text layer and change it to our title. It goes without saying that you can change lots of things for the titles. Now let's go to the film badges folder and open the file to import it in here. Then choose one of them and drag it to bring it to the poster. And here we go. And the same works for the other film posters in this pack. Just import your photo and play with these options to make it your own. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.